Hey guys, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about tarping lawnmowers. Uh, my shop isn't big enough to get all these zero turns and ride mowers inside my shop. Uh, so a lot of them stay outside. But whenever I have a customer's mower, I tarp it in case it rains. Uh, and man, I went through trying to tarp things. I went through bungee cords and baling wire and putting bricks on them on the corners and I just needed a, a much faster way to tarp and untarp lawnmowers and this is what I came up with I get these tarps at Harbor Freight they're seven and a half feet by five and a half feet and these magnets these round magnets I get those at Harbor Freight you get two in a pack for five bucks and those magnets are extremely strong. It's ridiculous how strong they are. Uh, but you just drop the tarp over the zero turn, put it inside these levers, and I pull it back over the engine and make sure the engine's covered. And then I put one of these magnets on each side of the rear of the frame. And then I pull it as far forward as I can. And I put one of these magnets on each side of the front. And now everything on this mower is covered. Uh, when it pours down rain, rain won't get in the ignition switch and the PTO switch and, you know, down around all the electronics and the, the relay switches. Uh, it's just a really quick, fast, easy way to tarp a mower. And then when you take the magnets off, you just grab the tarp and pull it and pull the magnet off. So that's how I do zero turns. When you tarp a riding mower, I open the hood, I put the tarp on it just over the front edge of the engine, like so. I close the hood on it, and then I pull the rest of the tarp over the back of the seat, flip the seat up, and tuck the back corners of the tarp underneath the seat, and that's how I tarp a rod mower. So you see, everything important is covered. You know, it's not going to hurt for the hood to get wet of the tires. Uh, but that's just a real quick, easy way to tarp a ride mower without bungee cords or wire or anything else, not even magnets. You just do it like this. For push mowers, uh, you can get these big plastic tubs. I got these, I think, at Walmart. And they're like five bucks a tub, I think. And for push mowers, you can just take one of these big plastic tubs, drop it over the engine, and you're done. It's not going to hurt for the rest of this to get wet. One thing I will say, uh, put a trash bag. If you know it's going to be rained on, put a trash bag over the handle. Just slide it down over the handle. Because one thing you see with push mowers is all the cables, water will run down inside these cables. And it'll get rusty and it'll seize up and ruin the cable. Uh, so you can, you know, put a trash bag over the top of these handles and prevent that from happening. But anyway, that's the way I tarp this stuff out here. Uh, a lot of times I tarp it, you know, it's not gonna hurt a ride mower or zero turn to get rained on one time. I mean, they're made to be washed. You can go to the car wash and wash them. Uh, but I don't like, you know, it's not my equipment. And since it's not my equipment, I make sure it doesn't get rained on. And I have had customers, uh, a few months ago I had a customer dropped off a John Deere ride mower it's just an old wore out John Deere ride lawn mower. Uh, but he dropped it off. And right after he dropped it off, I had to run and go somewhere. And when I got back, it was late and I just went to sleep. Well, it rained all night and all morning the next day. And evidently he drove by and saw his mower wasn't tarped and was getting rained on. And boy, he let me have it. He chewed my ass, boy. That was his baby. And he didn't appreciate me leaving it out in the rain. And ever since then, I make damn sure Everything that doesn't belong to me out here has a tarp on it. But anyway, that's my little video for today. I gotta get to work. Catch me later.